Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back to 108 Dragons TV, baby. It's your host, Lemon23, a.k.a. Lemethius. Right hand is Zeus. And before we get into any news, we're going to get into this kill for my man, Yoshi's son, 252. Yeah, sent me that video. Take that. I'm trying to parachute down. Let me look for these dudes in the field. Oh, saw that. Hit that dude from 300 yards out. Get this another shot off. Woo! Missed that. Run, Yoshi's here. Yoshi's here. Bam! Hand down, man down. That's what I'm talking about. I told y'all. We definitely going to be out here collecting these videos and making sure everybody's going to get famous messing with your boy Lemon23, baby. Now let's get on to this gaming news and this crying bullshit I heard all weekend in these forums. God damn, people. Nintendo showed you a system that's coming out. Y'all already crying. No 3DS support. No Wii U support. First of all, if you see the if you see that commercial they shot, ain't no 3DS support. Them games is full games. Them cartridges was bigger. And hell to the gnaw will it support Wii U. Not the optical disc, but it might support both of them in the virtual store if they go the same route they went before. And I also want to bring the people's attention. Nintendo did not innovate the tablet with controllers on the side idea. These are examples of tablets with controllers on the side. I'm also going to show you something else. If people who don't know what this is, this is an NVIDIA Shield Portable. Five-inch screen, controller built in, you can hook it up HDMI to your TV. It does 1080p output and you can control it with a Bluetooth controller. So Nintendo took an idea and made a virtual system, a portable system that will work for Nintendo. That is a great thing to do. You ain't got to be innovative, but you can take current ideas and you can make it even better. Now, from what we're hearing, there's only one bad negative so far, maybe two. Nintendo talking about they might have only three hours of battery life. Damn, that's worse than the PlayStation Vita. Let's hope to God they come out with a whole bunch of extra portable batteries exterior. Because three hours of gameplay equates to like two hours of gameplay in real life. So let's just hope that those rumors are just false as hell. Because... I don't care. I won't be taking it out of my house. I will be playing on my TV. So I don't care about the portability. And Nintendo also mentioned, I think this is a bunch of hogwash. The system that connects to the TV, the dock, they said that's its own entity. It's separate from the console that you're holding. So the main console is the screen and the, and the controllers. The pro controller is separate, and they sound the way they trying to re uh they trying to word what they talking about. It's like you gonna have to buy that docking system separate, and I'm definitely gonna let y'all know when y'all gonna be able to pre-order that new Nintendo Switch. It is dope though. It's definitely on fire. Now we're gonna get into some other news. We're gonna talk about this Titanfall 2 looking better on that PlayStation 4 Pro. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Put that little extra work and you don't bring out a system, let them support it. They said, hell no to no 4K, though. It's not strong enough, but it's all right. Give me them better textures, that solid frame rate. I'm taking all that. And Mark Cerny also announced the PlayStation 4 Pro will be able to swap that hard drive. Where that thing at? Let me, let me, let me see. Oh, yeah. Your boy Lemetheus is ready. Two terabyte SSD, baby. Solid state drive. I'm already ready. I'm not even going, going with one terabyte. That's just crazy. Now let's talk about this, battle, this Battlefield patch. Battlefield patch is out covering a couple gl glitches and everything. And it's supposed to make, the, uh, make you guys who be using these glitches, y'all can't use them no more. And... Also, Battlefield 1 is already off to a, hot, a, a hotter selling start than Battlefield 4 and Hardline combined. Damn, that's some numbers for that ass. That's, that's, that's a good look. Another good news, 
2K17 was the top selling game of September. I told y'all that game was fire. Fire, 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 baby. Now, got some other news. Gears of War 4. Just received a patch for you horde mode players. For those players that think they're not getting rewarded enough in Gears of War 4 horde mode. They have released a patch to up your rewards in Gears of War 4. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Now, Xbox One free games of November. First up, we got Super Dungeon Brothers and Mar Murder Soul Suspect. Decent game. Glad it's free come November 1st. I'm going to rock with that. Got some 360 games. Monkey Island and Far Cry, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. One of my favorite games. Far Cry took it to a whole different level, man. Brought it back to the 80s themes. Turns right back into Far Cry. But to have those old-fashioned arcade-type sound effects, fighting different stuff, that definitely was a fun game. Now, that's all I got for y'all dudes today. Spawn away dragons, baby. Your boy Lemetheus is here. And I keep telling you, I get a lot of activity on this channel, baby. I need you to like and subscribe. And for those people out there that have subscribed and you say, Lemon, yo, Lemon, I don't see your videos pop up when you put them up. You got to hit the bell, baby. You got to hit that bell next to that subscribe button. That's something new that your uh, YouTube is doing to get their, uh, to I guess get more recognition for dudes subscribing to different channels so you can get those notices. Yes, it's your boy Lemon, aka Lemetheus. And I'm out, chill.